What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing TP-Link's new Deco XC75 Pro Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Now this model is the AXE5400, and this one in particular is a three-pack system, which retails for around $400. Now, if the three-pack system is too much for your needs, there is also available a two-pack and a single unit option, which you can purchase for a lot less at around $290 for the two-pack system and around $180 each if you choose to get the single unit. Now, if you're not familiar with what Wi-Fi 6E is and its benefits, basically what it does is it adds wireless support for the 6 GHz spectrum, which ultimately unlocks faster wireless speeds at a lower latency and a greater increase in the number of available high bandwidth channels that routers and devices can connect to. Stay tuned and we'll unbox, install, and check out this all new mesh system from TP-Link and see how well it works. Okay, so before we get into it, let's talk about what's nice about this Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. First, You'll get speeds of up to 5400 megabits per second with a coverage range of up to 7200 square feet using this three device system. Now that's going to vary depending on various situations such as how many floors you have in your home or even how many obstructions you have between each device and even between each room. This system also gives you the capability to connect up to 200 devices which in itself I think is a lot and probably more than enough for most homes. This XE75 Pro Wi-Fi 6 mesh system is supposed to solve all of your Wi-Fi needs and allow you to easily set up your Wi-Fi mesh wireless network using their easy to use app, which I've actually used before and I think it works very well. Now again, this mesh system uses the all new Wi-Fi 6E standard opening up the 6 GHz spectrum in addition to 160 MHz channels and all in this little package. So as you can see from the front of this box, each of the access points is actually pretty nice looking and blends into most environments, which for me is something that's very important because my wife is very picky about what we put in the house and what all the decorations look like. So because of the design itself, it's pretty simple and easy to place pretty much anywhere and hide off in these little corners and spaces and make it part of the decor. So let's go ahead and unbox this and start taking a look at what comes in the package. Now, the package itself is not very heavy at all. And that's something that's nice because a lot of the other mesh systems that I've unpackaged and unboxed on this channel in the past have been pretty heavy and pretty bulky. And a lot of them come with two units, which weighs about the same as all three of these units. So that's already in itself pretty nice. All right, so in the box, of course, you see we get the three units themselves and they're actually very lightweight and hollow feeling. So we'll just take these out and start taking a look at this. Remove some of this stuff. Now they are a cylinder shape and it does come in white, which pretty much matches with, again, most decor. Okay, so those are the three units. Now, what you'll notice is on the back, there are three ports as well as the power button. So one is the uplink. And what's nice about these is it comes with, according to this, two one gigabit ports and one 2.5 gigabit ports. And I'm pretty sure that's the same on these other devices. In addition to that, you also get your instruction and installation guide along with an additional ethernet cable which you use to connect to your cable modem, your DSL modem, uh, your wireless modem, whichever one type of modem you have. Uh, you also get these AC adapters. You do get three of them for the three different units. And that's about it. Now again, this new mesh system uses the all new Wi-Fi 6E standard, which opens up the 6 gigahertz spectrum in addition to 160 megahertz channels. Now what that does is it allows for more reliable connectivity and speed due to less congestion. This also allows for more efficient high bandwidth data transfers, video streaming, gaming, and of course my favorite, VR. Now the version that I have here that we're unboxing and testing out today 
is the XC75 Pro, which is of course different from the standard XC75 non-Pro models. This Pro model, according to the website, has two 2 gigabit ports and one 2.5 gigabit ports on the back, which, when I look at this, is a little bit inaccurate because on the back, these two top ports are labeled as one gigabit ports. So I'm assuming that it's got two one gigabit ports and one 2.5 gigabit ports. Whereas the non-pro model only has three one gigabit ports on the back. So this one does have the benefit of that additional 2.5 gigabit port on the back. Now, another thing that makes this mesh system really easy to install, unlike a lot of the other mesh systems out there, is that no single unit is the primary device. In fact, every single unit is identical and serves as an access point within the mesh system itself, and it gives you the ability to connect your modem to any of these units in the mesh system. That's all thanks to the self-adapting AI, which allows the system to adapt and reconfigure itself as you make adjustments or updates to your mesh system. Now I know that we're talking about Wi-Fi 6E and this piece of technology in this video, but recently you may have noticed that there are starting to be Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems being released with over triple the speed and even more capabilities. But in my opinion, it will probably take a little bit longer for that to become mainstream and supported overall by different devices. Now, with that being said, in order to fully utilize the capabilities of Wi-Fi 6E, you will also need devices that are Wi-Fi 6E capable, which a lot of devices nowadays are capable, especially PCs and smartphones. Now, the other good thing is that this and other Wi-Fi 6E mesh systems are backwards compatible with Wi-Fi 5 as well as Wi-Fi 2.4 so you won't have to worry about connectivity. It's just really about maximizing that speed and those capabilities. Now, at this point in time, Wi-Fi 6E is still fairly new, so you won't have to worry about getting as much interference as you would on Wi-Fi mesh systems that use 2.4 or 5 gigahertz bands, allowing for those high transfer speeds and lower latency. Anyways, setting up this mesh system should be fairly easy and self-explanatory. Uh, you simply just need to plug this device in and then connect your modem to one of the devices and then use the app to start detecting each of the devices to form that mesh network. Once that's done, we'll see how fast these things are and how well they work and what the speed looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have gone ahead and placed the access points in different parts of my home as well as connected one of the access points to my cable modem. So we are going to test out how well they work, but before we do that, let's go ahead and set this thing up. So I did already download the TP-Link Deco app, which by the way, does have four and a half stars on the App Store. So I guess for the most part, most people are pretty happy with the application itself. And I've used this in the past, and I do got to say, it is very easy to use. Okay, so once you log into the app, um, this is going to be the first time I've set this system up. So I've got these units plugged in, the access points, so you can see they have gone through their initial warm-up, and they are now blinking blue, which means, I guess, they're ready to be detected and connected. Okay, so we have to enable that local network. Okay, so of course, first things first, you need to create a TP-Link account. Okay, so paint your home in Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, I've already given access. Okay, so first things first, you need to select your devices. So we have the XE75 Pro. We've already connected them. The modem is on. Well, it says power it off, but we've already powered it on and you know plugged in our devices. So we've already done all that. Check your modem. Okay, so all of the devices are pulsing blue. Uh, so that's good. So let's go ahead and detect this. Allow while using app. Okay, so we'll join. And let it detect the Deco devices. Okay, so it's now connected to the Deco. And we will call this one the, I guess we'll call this one the office. 
So that should be the device that's right next to my cable modem. And we will let it use the standard settings. And we'll just call this one Deco for now. And then the password, we'll just, just say, we'll call it Deco. And I think I uppercase that, yep. But of course, I am gonna change this once we are done with this video. So it is now creating the Wi-Fi network. So that is the first device. Now I did end up unplugging this second device because I wanted to make sure that I knew which one I was connecting to. So uh, I'll plug this one in after this first one is set up. Okay, so let's connect to it, join it. Okay, it says we're connected. And it's gonna test out the internet. Okay, so let's click next. Okay, so we are gonna plug in another Deco. So we'll just sit here and let this go from yellow, which is its boot up mode. And I did set up the third one, which is a little bit farther away. So I wonder if we can detect that one right now. So let's see if it detects the second one that's in the other room. My phone is set up. Okay, we'll add another Deco unit. And of course it is an XC75 Pro. Okay, we have two floors in this house. Okay, now let's see if it connects to this one. Okay, so it found another Deco unit. Uh, so I'm gonna be moving this one probably down into the uh, kitchen. We'll call that next. Okay, and once it's connected, it should start. Okay, so that deco has been added, and once it's added, the light turns green. So I'm gonna add another deco device, because there is a third one, and that should be in the hallway. So, of course, we are a two-floor house. Okay, so it's gonna look for the third deco unit. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to get closer to the other deco unit that I placed, so I'm gonna go into the living room where it is and see if it's detected. Okay, I stand corrected. So it does look like it installed all three units at once. So I'm just gonna cancel this just to verify because I don't have a fourth deco unit. So that's actually pretty convenient that it didn't do it at once. So I do see all three deco devices. So there's one in that room over there or in the upstairs living room. And this one of course is gonna go down into the kitchen. Um, but then there is also one near the dining area where the cable modem is. So as you can see, um, everything is set up and it looks like data is flowing through each of the deco devices and the mesh is set up. So fairly easy. So I guess since we're here right now, before we check out all the different features and the items within the app itself, let's do a quick speed test. Okay, so I am going to actually use a third party software uh, and I'm gonna to go to speed test. And we will test out the speed of the Wi-Fi. Okay, so I am right next to one of the Deco units. So I'd say fairly nice speed. Uh, we're going at almost 500 or 460, 450 megabits per second. Uh, upload speeds are a bit slow, so that's a little bit concerning, but you know, it could be also the provider as well, but at least my download speeds are very acceptable, especially because I am on Wi-Fi right next to one of the Deco units. Now, what I want to do is also try going away from the Deco unit that I have here um, to, let's say, downstairs in the bedroom, and we'll see how fast the speed is there. So I'm just going to walk out of the studio and we're going to walk downstairs to my bedroom and test the speed there so kitchen you know we've got a unit here near us in the dining room where the cable modem is but now we are in my master bedroom where we don't necessarily have a deco close because it's still upstairs so let's go ahead and test the speed now
Okay, so it is a little bit slower, but given that you know we're going from one uh, step to another, I'd still say it's fairly fast, especially because we aren't near a deco unit at all. Um, and it's about two rooms away. Again, the upload speed is a little bit slower, but really for me, all I'm concerned mostly about is the download speed right now. So the speed is fairly consistent, and actually I think it's getting a little bit faster. Yeah, it reached up all the way to 400, and again, I'm not next to any kind of deco unit. So that's actually pretty nice. In fact, it's getting faster than when I'm near the deco unit. So pretty consistent speeds uh, at different ranges. Okay, so I'm gonna go back upstairs and retest the speed of the units when I'm next to them. Okay, so back in the office now. Let's go ahead and retest the speed now that I'm close to this deco unit and see how fast it is. Okay, so much faster, going up upwards of 800 megabits per second. So that is pretty impressive. That is actually faster than my existing mesh system, which is pretty amazing. So on this cable modem, I've got one gig uh, speeds. So nearly almost up to gig speeds at 869 megabits per second. So actually very impressive for this deco unit. So now I'm actually gonna go right next to the deco unit that's plugged into my cable modem to see what the speeds are like there. So again, I'm gonna step away, walk downstairs to the dining room so we can see what the speeds are next to the unit that's right next to the cable modem or connected directly to the cable modem. Okay, so now I'm next to the unit that's connected to the cable modem and let's go ahead and test those speeds. Okay, so still super fast and pretty consistent when it comes to speed. Now I just connected, so I expect that, you know, it's passing off from one unit to the next. So I'm actually gonna test this again for a second time once this upload speed is, speed test is done. Okay, so again, really consistent speeds. And I'm actually surprised that it goes faster on the second unit than it is going, standing next to the unit that's connected directly to the cable modem. But overall, very consistent speeds at different areas in the house. And really being upstairs or downstairs didn't really impact the speed. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back upstairs, back to the office, to where the other unit is, and see how that speed is comparatively again, because I'm actually interested to see why the upstairs is much faster. Okay, so we are up here again, and we are going to test the speed on this unit. Okay, so <laughs> this one is super fast and it's not the unit that's plugged into the modem itself. So I'm very impressed that even though the unit itself that's connected to the cable modem is downstairs, the speed is actually faster on this upstairs unit when it's further away from the uh, cable modem. So that's impressive. Now, if any of you know why that might be, definitely leave me a comment or message in the comment section below. Um, but I'm getting much faster speeds on the second unit than I am on the one that I've designated as the primary unit connected to the cable modem itself. Okay, so obviously I'm very impressed and happy with the performance of this uh, mesh system from TP-Link. This XC75 Pro is performing much better than my existing mesh system. And as you can see, I'm getting some very high speeds, almost as if my phone was plugged directly into the cable modem itself. I'm al almost maxing out that speed. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, 
So now that this Wi-Fi 6E Deco Mesh system from TP-Link has impressed me, let's talk about some of the benefits and capabilities of the app itself. For one, you can set up independent 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz wireless networks. You know, just in case you want to separate access to certain people or devices. An example of that is most smart home devices, which require a 2.4 gigahertz connection. You can set up a separate connection for all those devices. Now, one thing to note is if you set up those independent 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz wireless networks, they do allow up to 2400 Mbps transfer rates. And the 2.4 gigahertz will have a max transfer rate of 574 megabits per second. Now secondly, this mesh system does also support WPA3 security encryption and is IPv6 compatible. And those are things that you can set up in the app itself. Now the other benefits, now realizing that this thing can transfer up to one gig wireless speeds, is the ability to plug in up to two to three devices directly to the access points themselves, which allows you to maximize the speed for devices that don't have wireless or those that aren't getting a good signal. So you can plug them directly into each of the access points themselves. You've also got that 2.5 gig port on each of the Deco units, which will allow you faster transfer speeds over your Wi-Fi network. In addition to that, if you are interested, you also can utilize TP-Link's Home Shield software and features for increased security for your network. Anyways, as you can see, and what blew me away was that this mesh works amazingly well. And it does all of this in a surprisingly small and lightweight form factor. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this three pack or one of the other variants of this Deco XC75 Pro mesh system from TP-Link, I'll leave a link to them in the description section below. Now I'm still a bit shocked at how fast my Wi-Fi speed is using this Deco system and will be swapping out my older mesh system with this Deco system from TP-Link. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as usual, I appreciate you taking the time to check out my video as well as clicking that like button and subscribing to support this channel. Please make sure you also ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. And until next time, see ya.